Hello, my name is Kelly Cannon, and this is the Salt Lake Tribune Daily Buzz, a video series where we bring you the important story of the day. Now, with the rise of temperatures over the past week, flooding has started in earnest around Utah and especially in Salt Lake County. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall signed an emergency order late on Wednesday in order to help support residents who have been affected by the flooding. Now, while cooler temperatures later this week will likely slow down the flooding for a bit, there is still considerable danger of flooding across the state if temperatures shoot back up into the 70s or 80s. Experts at the Utah Division of Emergency Management believe that flooding can happen anywhere in the state. So the Salt Lake Tribune has put together a guide to help explain what you should do before, during, and after a flood in order to protect yourself, your loved ones, your home or business, your pets, and your belongings. So to start off, here are six things you should do before a flood. Number one, check your flood risk. FEMA has a website where you can enter your address and it will outline the flood hazard for that area. We've included a link below. Number two, consider getting flood insurance. Even if your home is outside a high risk area, you may still experience flooding and most homeowners insurances don't cover flood damage. Most policies take about 30 days to kick in, so getting insured as soon as possible is very important. Number three, create a communication plan with loved ones. Designate a specific person to contact for updates. That person will then disseminate that information to everyone else. Also establish a safe location to meet up if your family members are separated when your home is evacuated. Number four, assemble an emergency kit. The Department of Public Safety say it's a good idea to have enough food, water, and medicine on hand to last you about three days in case of emergency. You should also have batteries, blankets, flashlights, a first aid kit, rubber boots, rubber gloves, and a battery operated radio in your kit. If you have pets, remember to pack food, leashes, and food and water dishes and any medicine that they may need. We've included a link below that has a useful list in reference to assembling disaster kits for individuals, infants, and pets. Number five, prepare your home. Take photos of your possessions in your home in case they are damaged by flood water. Use sandbags to divert water and debris away from your home or business. Now, residents in Salt Lake County can find out where to get and fill sandbags by visiting a link that we've included below. We've also included a link to a video as well as information on how to use sandbags. If flooding is imminent, try to move valuable items up a floor, such as taking things from the basement to the first or second floor. Number six, prepare for evacuation. Pack everything ahead of time uh, for yourself, your family, and your pets so you can leave at a moment's notice. Be sure to collect your valuable and irreplaceable items beforehand so you can grab them in a hurry. Okay, now that you know what to do to prepare for a flood, here are three things you should do during a flood. Number one, stay informed. If possible, check the internet and social media for information and updates. You can follow FEMA Region 8, the American Red Cross of Utah, and your local National Weather Service office on Twitter. You can also download the NOAA weather app on your phone. Number two, evacuate. If you are told to evacuate, do so immediately. Lock your home when you leave, and if you have time, disconnect your appliances. Take your pets with you and get to higher ground. Number three, stay away from floodwaters. Streams and rivers coming off mountains will be fast and cold and you should never try to cross them on foot. Remember, six inches of water can knock you off your feet, 12 inches can float your car, and 18 inches can sweep away large vehicles. Water may also be hiding sharp objects and electrical wires, and even more. So don't drive around barricades into flooded roads. The water may be much deeper than it appears. If you are trapped by floodwaters, get to the highest point you can and call 911. So now that you know what to do during a flood, here are five things to do after a flood. Number one, avoid disaster areas. You could hamper rescue and emergency operations by going there and the flood waters may be contaminated. Number two, contact your family and loved ones. Use your previously designated contact person to let people know that you are safe. You can also use the Red Cross emergency app. Be sure to check on your neighbors as well. Number three, wait for the all clear from authorities. Don't enter a building until you are told it is safe. If you do enter a building that has been damaged by flood, be very careful and make sure that the electrics are turned off. Number four, stay informed. Stay tuned to your local news and for updated road conditions and whether a boil order has been put in place. If you lose power, report the outage and receive restoration updates from the Rocky Mountain Power app. Number five, check your insurance. If your property is damaged, start your flood uh, insurance claim as soon as possible. So for more information on flood prevention and safety, be sure to visit beready.utah.gov. Now we wanna hear from you guys. What else do you wanna know about flood preparation? Has there been flooding in your neighborhood? What are you most concerned about when it comes to flooding in Utah? You can comment below or you can tweet us at SLTrib. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you want these daily buzz videos and all of our videos as soon as they are live, be sure that you're subscribed. You can also find us on social media such as TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at SLTrade. Thanks.